Welcome to the RMS Pump Tool Single Mandrel Packer Penetrator Training Guide. This video will explain the installation procedure for a standard single mandrel packer penetrator system used in conjunction with a standard, extended, or adjustable adapter. Use this video together with the installation instructions to familiarize yourself with the installation procedure of the product. You will then be asked to undertake a short test of 10 questions with multiple choice answers. Upon successful completion of the test, you will be issued with an RMS Pump Tool Certificate. Feel free to take notes throughout the video to aid you during the test. Installing the Penetrator System The installation procedure comprises three main stages fitting the adapter into the packer, pressure testing the API thread and fitting the penetrator into the adapter. Before commencing, you should familiarize yourself with the components in the box. The system datasheet can be used for reference. Always ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, for the environment in which you are working. Preparation all equipment should be inspected well in advance of installation. Do not remove the penetrator from its drum or box until it is ready to be installed, but carefully open the packaging to inspect the penetrator or adapter and any accessories. When handling any RMS pump tools penetrator, it is paramount that the utmost care is taken. The molded cable should be supported at all times. The cable should also be carefully inspected, making sure there is no damage to the outer armor or sheathing. Ensure the components are not subject to mechanical impact. Any damage to the outer body could affect the sealing surfaces and compromise the performance of the system. Fitting the adapter into the packer. Although there are three distinct types of adapter, standard, adjustable or extended, all are installed in the same way. There are two main differences between installations. The position, which can be inverted or regular, as well as the type of thread connection used. With the packer at a suitable working height, carefully remove the adapter kit from the box and remove the protective stocking. Inspect and, if necessary, clean the API threads on the packer bore and on the adapter body. An appropriate thread sealant or tape should be used on tapered threads when assembling the adapter into the packer. The adapter should be made up hand tight and then fully tightened using the tooling provided, usually a C spanner. Pressure testing the API thread. Once the opposite end of the penetrator bore has been sealed off, remove the fix ring, split collets, and protective sleeve. Then insert the test mandrel provided. Secure in place using the fix ring. Remove one of the two NPT test port plugs and attach suitable pressure test equipment. Fill the bore with a suitable test media and pressurize as per the rating specified on the system datasheet. Once complete, Ensure that the pressure has been fully relieved before draining the bore and refitting the NPT test port plug. Remove the fix ring and pressure test mandrel, then replace the protective sleeve in the bore and secure with the fix ring. Fitting the penetrator into the adapter. Please note that the packaging on the penetrator should only be removed when it is ready to be fed through the adapter bore. This is to protect the vital sealing surfaces from damage. In the case of an adjustable adapter, this should be set to the mid-stroke position prior to fitting the penetrator. The cable pigtail can now be fed through the adapter bore. As the penetrator body reaches the adapter, release the fix ring, pull out the protective sleeve, and cut away. With the collet groove aligned with the end of the adapter, remove the plastic split collar and replace with the metal split collets. Secure in place with the fix ring. Once the penetrator has been secured to the adapter, another pressure test should be conducted as before. 
Again, this should be through one of the NPT ports in the adapter and is used to verify the internal seals of the adapter. The penetrator should now be electrically tested through the upper pigtail prior to splicing to the main cable. If the lower penetrator is to be horizontally spliced to the downhole MLE cable, install the penetrator into the adapter and mark the length of MLE cable to cut against the penetrator's downhole pigtail. Remove the penetrator from the adapter, refit the protective sleeve and fix ring, complete the horizontal splice, and refit the penetrator as previously outlined. Installation will vary depending on whether the penetrator can pass through the packer bore or not. For instance, a 1.9 inch API thread is too small, but a 2 and 3 eighths inch API is large enough. The smallest diameter in the bore must be more than 50.8 millimeters to accommodate the penetrator. A regular penetrator that will not pass through the packer bore will need to be installed from the fixed ring side and vertically spliced to the MLE cable. A large body packer penetrator, usually moulded to one AWG MLE, can only be installed in the inverted position. All large body packer penetrators have a shoulder built into the body as opposed to removable split collets. This shoulder bottoms out on the adapter body and is secured in place using the fix ring. Note the alternative fix ring for this type of system, which is usually pre-fitted to the penetrator. Operation and redress. When cleaning any threads or internals on the adapter bodies, it is recommended to use a suitable solvent degreaser and a clean lint-free cloth. Once fully secured, the adjustable adapter can be manipulated as shown. It is recommended that adjustable adapters should always be fitted in the mid-stroke position, allowing adjustment in either direction. In the case of a 3.5-inch adjustable adapter, this is manipulated by altering the position of the split collets. This requires that the fix ring and split collets be removed, allowing the penetrator to be set to a new position. The split collets are then placed in the desired groove and secured using the fix ring. In the event that any of the elastomer seals have been damaged, they must be replaced with the spares provided. To redress, locate the spare seal pack and remove the previous O-rings and backup rings. Ensure the grooves are clean and dry before fitting any new seals. To aid fitting of the backup rings, slightly expand the rings relative to the groove diameter. Silicon grease or similar should also be used to aid the fitting of both the O-rings and backup rings. This concludes the RMS Pump Tools training guide. A short test will now follow.